you're facing a team that plays two quarterbacks and, and does it the way that uh, Chris has done it this year. Does that add some of the challenge of preparing for them at all? Yeah. Obviously, anytime there's two of them, you're aware of who's in the game. But uh, you know, the, the challenge to them is, is being able to stop their running game. I mean, that's they're very good at it, and and, uh, they're, and they're very good on third down. So uh, you know, you we're have to stop the run and play well on third down, and. Uh, you know, is it? Um, I think they had the ball about ten minutes more. They averaged ten minutes more in there, but that's an awful lot. So uh, that's the challenges on offense: to be able to stop the run and play well on third down against them. Tracy, did they lead the nation in, in time of possession? Does that you look at too? Does that go back to your offense on third down that you've got to be able to convert some so your defense isn't out there a long time? No question. And it's not that uh, you know. Last week was a, we had even at Nebraska we converted and and kept the ball for a little, a little while, but last week we didn't. You know, after our opening drive, we had like four or five three and outs. And if we do that, they're going to wear you down on defense, and, and, it, and it'll be a long day. So they're, they're very efficient on offense. Coach, I remember you talking about uh, the game in 2014 there at their place and, and taking some responsibility on your shoulders. What do you recall and what did you kind of mean about I don't recall a lot except for we had the lead and we lost it. I'm the defensive coordinator, so that's my job. <laughs> you know, I was in and I didn't do it very well. We didn't finish very strong. And, and uh, But uh, they, they, that's how they are. I mean, they're no different this year. They're a very good football team. And, and uh, they're, you know, defensively, I think everybody thought that they would fall off this year a little bit, and they haven't. Uh, uh, teams are only converting under 30% on third down. They're not letting them run the ball, and I think they're only giving up like 14 points. So they're good on defense, and, and offense, offensively, like I say, they, they do a good job playing keep away. So uh, uh, it'll take um, four quarters, you know, for sure. We'll, we'll have to play well, or, or it could get ugly. Since you uh, took over as head coach, how often are you reminded about this game from fans or just people around you? I mean, even when I was defensive coordinator, you know, I. Anytime you do an event and somebody, it's more than one that comes up and tells you, you know, and that's a good thing about the Big Ten and the rivalry games. I think that's what's special about it and know what's important. And, and uh, But it's the same thing, though, is that uh, you, know, you have to play four quarters of better football than they do in order to win the game, you know, and they're not going to give it to you. And, and uh, we haven't been able to do that yet. We played a half against them. We played three quarters against them, and but we have yet to play four quarters of good football. And, and uh, us, a lot of that has to do with them sometimes too. They've been awfully good here the last few years, and so uh, uh, we're going to have to find a way to play four good quarters. And, and I know it's important to the people of the state, and it's important to our kids. And and uh, but the only way to get it back is to win the football game. And and, and that sounds kind of crazy, but. Everybody wants it back. We, we've got to play well enough football in, in order to get it back. The uh, performance by the defense against Northwestern was had to be one of the best of the season. Um, is it a matter of repeating that to be able to beat Wisconsin, or does it have to be even better against a, a team like that? Well, I mean, you're going to have to keep them down in that range of the points in order to have a chance. I mean, there's no doubt. The difference is you got two completely different types of offenses. Now, a year ago, as we had three or four D linemen out when we played them, and, and a couple linebackers, and so up front we were pretty beat up. This year, you know, we do at least to start the ball game as we're healthy up front in the D line, and and that, and so hopefully that'll that will help us a little bit. But uh, um, you know, they've been able to to find ways to move the ball against uh, everybody they played, and and uh, all their games have been close too, and they played some awfully good football teams, so. Uh, um, but yeah, we'll, we'll have to keep it, you know, I, I say that and you look over the history, you never know, but my first impressions is, is, yeah, you're gonna have to keep it around 14 points in order to have an opportunity to win. You feel like your defense is better prepared now where you guys are good against teams that spread you out, now they're just gonna try to power you? you now you the power thing, yeah. And so, uh, you know, is that we do have the big guys up front though with, with Steve and Scott and, and, and uh, Andrew and, and Merrick and, and Shuey. So we have all those guys healthy, which, which will help us out. You know, is that uh, uh, last year we were playing a walk on D tackle in there, some snaps, you know, and that we were so beat up. And so I do think that helps us. But at the end, the, those guys are still going to have to play one of their best games because last year we played them, they were young up front. You know, they had a lot of young guys on offensive line. So now they got that year of experience and 
they're they're playing awfully well up front. So our our D line is going to have to play well. Does their ball control offense change the way you maybe play field position or play <clears throat> short yardage situations in the middle of the field, considering you know you need to control the clock a little bit to not get worn down? Uh, I th I don't know that. Well, the the decisions on the ball in the middle of the field will just be however the game's going. You know what I'm saying? Is it uh, it won't be based on on uh, whether we're wearing down or anything like that. But uh, I don't think there's any question that field position will play a big part of it. And, and uh, um, I, I don't want to give them the ball anywhere near the middle of the field. That's for sure. And, and, and so, uh, um, you know, is that we'll we'll definitely have to play well in special teams and and. Uh, Make the right decisions to try to maintain field position, but at the same time, if if things are going good and you got a chance to win it, you got to go win the ball game. You know they're not going to give it to you. You got to go win the thing. Coach, I know they're uh, still in the three four, but has anything changed with Wilcox as defensive coordinator instead of Miranda? Uh, I don't. You know, it, it's a lot of the of the same stuff. You know, obviously personality things, but uh, their kids play hard and and they put enough down in there in the box and and. Uh, they, they they do. I mean, it's good football, and you know they they uh, don't let you run it. And then you get to third and long, they're like us. You'll see one or two D tackles in there, and a whole bunch of linebackers and secondary people, and they get fast in a hurry, and they come and get you. And so uh, um, they're they're built that way, uh, similar to us, except for they're more of a three four team. What is Coach Sherrill's and, and Coach Weber's message to the team to kind of show the? Importance of the rivalry do for you guys? Uh, we'll, we'll see. You know, we'll do that at the end of the week. I, I, don't, I don't tell them what to say or when to say it, and and uh, but they get a little time at the end of the week. And people who have played in the rivalry, I think that's always good that that they hear uh, from them. You know, and so uh, um, yeah, they'll they'll I'll let them visit with the the team, but we'll do it later in the week. You know, the, the first thing you got to do is get prepared to play it. You know, and and. Uh, and um, so that, that'll be our first priority is making sure we, we have a good week of preparation. Tracy, do you think uh, Merrick Jackson had his best game against Northwestern? And do you, just how do you feel about how he's progressed in general? You, you know, uh, Merrick played well against Northwestern. Is that, uh, but uh, at the same time, there's a lot of competition up there. And so, so uh, we need him, obviously, and, and it gives us a little bit more depth. Um, and anytime there's a little adjustment period when you're coming from a junior college, but uh, uh, part of the reason it's not that that, that he's uh, not a good player; it's that he's got some awfully good ones in front of him right now. And so, uh, um, but uh, we'll need him on Saturday to give us a depth on the inside. Can you give us an update on Keontae? I know that he left. He's the game. fine. He's fine. Yep, okay. he's fine. Coach, are, are the are the Badgers are they uh, pretty consistently willing to just? Keep pounding the ball, even with a lot of a lot of people in the box against them. Or kind of to what point do you see where they'll finally start to go to the passing game more? Well, they they don't go to it as quick as they did a year ago. You know, is it? Uh, uh, but at the same time, you don't, they're hard to get in third and long because of that. So um, you know, they'll, they're they're going to stick with it and be patient and and uh, either catch you cheating somebody in the box or they can hit you on the big pass. Uh, or, you know, they will play the field position game with you. And so uh, I think that patience has been part of their 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 success. You see their their offensive line is kind of like being a typical offensive line again, or is it um, last year that was one of their big issues going into that game? Right. But again, say we're young, and, you know, it's an, the good thing about young players, they grow up, you know what I'm saying? And so they definitely a year, and they've gotten a lot better. So, yeah. Yep, they're, they're, they're back to – to relying on what they do best, and and, uh, and obviously that that's coming downhill at you. Coach, um, against Northwestern, there was the first half uh, timeout right before halftime. Was there something you saw on the field, or something you guys were considering um, when when you called that timeout? Is it? Yeah, I move on from game to game now. You gotta. Is they had the ball? Is that what you're talking about? No, the the offense had the ball. Uh huh. Is that, uh, I'll be honest, I don't quite remember. You know what I'm saying? That's a good thing when you're a good coach. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Once a game's done, I just, once we get past Monday, I move on. So I can't remember specifically about that. 
Does this one mean a little more, not only for the program, but you personally, that you know, a trophy case is bare compared to two years ago, you guys had a couple of trophies. Is this one a little bit, a little bit ratcheted up just because they're, you know, you guys have already, you lost two trophies this year to get this one back with you? No, nah, this one's not married on its own. They're all important. I mean, you gotta win them, you know? I mean, that's, that's a fun part of it. And, and uh, so, um, but no, no, it don't need any extra rationing. It's, you know, border war between uh, um, the states and, and it's important to a lot of people. And, and uh, we need to win it here eventually, you know, to make it a rivalry again. You know, they won a long time. And so, uh, but like I say, we'll do that and get that done the day when we, we play better than they do for, for, for four quarters and, and go out and actually win the game. And, um, uh, and it'll be a challenge. I say they're, they're no different. They're a very good football team. They deserve all the accolades they've got. And, and uh, they win, you know, they're going to have some, some great opportunities in front of them and, and they deserve all that. Paul's done a great, great job there.